Big Joke proves that he's anything but funny. A clampdown on deadly malaria, another Asian tourist in a gang attack, and the case of a German who torched his own car. This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, and it would be fabulous if you subscribed. It's easy. Click the subscribe button. And at the same time, click the like button too. National figures show that after two years where we all basically kept apart, disease counts are rising in pretty much every variant. This week, new figures for 2022 malaria cases showed over 8,000 cases, a rise of 150%. Malaria treatment is being offered nationwide, with the reminder to discard stagnant water in pots around the home, which of course are the source of dengue and the only source to humans of malaria. Malaria is not transmissible from human to human. Thailand is set to ban the export of sodium cyanide over an extended period as amounts shipped to Myanmar and other destinations are seen as obviously black market trading. The chemical is a major component in the making of methamphetamine and currently Thailand imports it at a massive rate as it can't be produced here. Not banned yet, but if the ban goes ahead, meth producers could find themselves unable to meet demand. And the sad tale of a German and his car hit the news wires yesterday after he and his spouse had a falling out in Lampum. She called the police as she claimed she feared he would attack her. For whatever reason, he set fire to his own car under a carport before committing suicide. Cops found the 50-year-old in the garden when they arrived. His embassy has been informed and an autopsy is being carried out. Meanwhile at home and in Bang Lamung, a local bottom feeder of a human was caught by police after pulling up alongside a wheelchair-bound vendor, pointing a gun at her and demanding her days taking and more. He apologised once he was caught, which was, according to the lady, very nice, but not enough to dissuade her from pressing charges. Nicknamed Big Joke, Thailand's Sherlock Holmes is becoming more popular than ever in the media. Police General Surachat Hakpan appears to have taken overall control of all dubious investigations nationally, ousting several who appear to have been taking backhanders, so-called tea money, and demanding that in all cases the perpetrators are caught and do go to court. From the south to the capital, to our own region, he appears to have infiltrated police operations with his own men. They then report directly to him. And here in our own region, the investigation into a nightclub that opened way after hours and where the manager blabbed that he'd paid people in high places has been linked to a similar operation also raided in the capital. This time amid claims that both clubs cross-traded illegal products via a Chinese network. The villa story, where five men were alleged to have raided a private villa, rented out to tourists, beating several and demanding information on someone in their photograph. Well, in that case, not only were two patsies picked up on, that's people standing in for the real criminals and taking the heat, but a local senior policeman has, according to Surachart's office, been moved on as a cash transfer is investigated. Now more Chinese involved in a kidnap of a 41-year-old Chinaman who subsequently had his little finger severed. Now that's a sign in some Asian countries of an unpaid debt. And video footage of that was sent to his brother and his 20-year-old girlfriend. She'd reported him missing yesterday to police after a demand for 30 million baht was received. They had transferred the grand sum of 150,000 baht before the man's vehicle was spotted at Mapachan Lake and he was finally recovered, taken to hospital. No word yet on his attackers. But according to top police, the biggest issue seems to be just how so many Chinese appear to have got visas, with claims being bandied around about many here on education visas, despite, of course, not going to any classroom. In other news, locally from police and General Surachart again, we have details now of the bar in Treetown alleged to have employed underage staff. Cobra Beer Bar was the name of the venue. The owner and her British husband have been charged regarding the pimping of youngsters, which is human trafficking here under Thai law. No updates on the Satterheap Bar fire, said to be under investigation. No updates on the question of fire safety in several city venues. And only scant updates regarding the woman who threw herself from a city balcony, as she had been persuaded by a gang and threatened, after they videoed her in compromising positions and threatened to send those to her family abroad, this unless she worked as a call girl. In that case, three Asians have been held by police. 
And with the Met Office promising a cloudy day with sun at times, highs of 31 around midday dropping down to 22 this evening. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.